So to be fully prepared for the math that you're going to see on the Florida Teacher Certification Exam General Knowledge Test, you got to know some basic geometry and algebra. Now, I'm going to show you a question here in just one second. And what we want to do is solve for the angles in a triangle. And we're going to need uh, to know some basic geometry and algebra to answer this question. Now, if you need help studying for the FTCE general knowledge test, you got to check out my math test prep course. Uh, you can find a link to that in the description of this video. All right, so let's take a look at this uh, question and the full solution right now. And the question here is, what are the actual angles of this triangle? So let's go to take a look at this uh, figure. So obviously we have a triangle and this angle of the triangle is X degrees. And this angle over here is the same angle. It's X degrees. And this angle right here is two X degrees. Again, the question is, what are the actual angles of this triangle? Feel free to use a calculator, but if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. Then, of course, I'll show you exactly how easy it is to solve this problem. Okay, so the key uh, thing that we need to first understand about a triangle, by the way, triangles are a huge topic in geometry. There is a lot to know about triangles, but one of the most basic things that you need to understand is that the sum of the angles in any triangle is equal to 180 degrees, okay? So this angle plus this angle plus this angle doesn't make a difference if you have a triangle like this, an obtuse triangle, or uh, an acute triangle, or a right triangle, it doesn't make a difference. An ang this angle plus this angle plus this angle, you'll always get 180 degrees. And we can use that fact here to set up a lovely algebraic equation. So let's go ahead and use the fact that some of the angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. So X plus this X plus this 2X is equal to 180 degrees. But we need to kind of write this as a nice algebraic equation. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So here is our triangle. We have X plus x plus 2x, or we can just kind of go round robin. We could start here, x plus 2x plus this x will be equal to 180 degrees. So if we can solve for x, then we can figure out what the uh, actual angles are. All right, so again, we're gonna be using algebra to solve this basic equation. And if you didn't understand the setup here, maybe you wanna go ahead and pause the video and see if you can solve this basic equation. So let's solve for x. And this is not that difficult. This is what we call a basic linear equation. So I have one X here. So when you see an X in algebra, you might be saying, well, there's no number in front of an X. Yes, there is a one. So if I have one X here, I have two X right here, and I have another one X here. In total, I have one plus two plus one. I have four X's over here. So I have four X is equal to 180. So the uh, object here, or the objective, excuse me, is to solve for x. So all I have to do is divide both sides of the equation by 4. So 180 divided by 4 is 45. All right, so x is equal to 45, but we're not done yet, right? So what does that mean? Well, now that, now that we know that x is equal to 45, x is equal to 45 degrees, okay? So going back to our triangle, remember these angles here were x and x. These are the same angles. So these angles here are 45 degrees. So 45 plus 45 is 90 degrees. And if we subtract that away from 180 degrees, that is, of course, going to be 90 degrees. But we can still figure that out by 2x or 2 times 45, which is 90 degrees. And it makes sense, right? So this is 90, 45, and 45. It all adds up to 180 degrees.